If you want to know how I got from this to this, then just keep on watching. So I just did my foundation, put my concealer on, set my face with powder, did my eyebrows, the longest part, because that stuff is boring and no one really wants to see that. And um, now on to my favorite part, which is the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you guys up close. So I already have concealer on my eyes. Um, that's what I usually use as a primer. And now starting off, I'm gonna go in with a huge fluffy brush like this. Any round fluffy brush will do. And now I'm going in with the shade Silk Cream from Jaclyn Hill's palette. And I'm just lightly dusting it in the crease, but more so on the lower part. And I don't want to put too much on, this is just a base. Now I'm going in with the shade Beam from Jack and Hill's palette. I'm just taking it on my ring finger and placing it in the center. And I like to do that because I like to go in with the lightest colors first. Because usually if you go in with the dark ones and then try to put in the light, it's harder. And I want this to be a spring glow, so I want to make it as light as possible here like that just kind of placing it in the center now I'm going in with the shade twinkle from the Too Faced Dream Queen palette it's so gorgeous this shade is just pigmented and glittery and really packed in there it's sort of creamy and what I like to do to get the maximum effect is take the Mac fix plus and just spray it on my pinky finger like that and then just dig in and watch the pay, pay off of this just a little bit, like that. Do you guys see how bright this is? So yeah, that's about it. Now going in with the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette, I'm taking the shade Teddy right over here. And I'm just gonna take a really long taper brush like this. And I'm just gonna place the shade really on the corners basically of the eye, right here and a little bit right here maybe a little bit like in between but i don't want to go in the center at all basically like a halo eye i just really don't want it to appear too dark because we all know that you can go really dark and really heavy real fast when it comes to eyeshadow so i don't want to do that next i'm taking a tiny little taper brush like this and I'm going in with the shade Secret, which I love, OMG, this shade is everything. I feel like it's my most used shade. And I'm kind of going in more toward the center than the other color because the other one was warmer and this is more of a cool color and I kind of want it to be from cool to warm. And a little bit here. Now, taking a really fluffy blending brush, I'm just gonna try to blend out the two colors in the corner. And now, with the same fluffy brush that we used earlier, I'm just gonna warm up the, out the outer portion of the eye, and I'm gonna warm it up with the shade Play, the orange one. And I don't wanna go too crazy, I just wanna take a tiny little bit. And then just kinda go over the edges over here. Just a little bit to warm it up, not too much. I do not want this to be a warm, smoky eye. I feel like that is just so last year. I don't know. I used to love warm brown smoky eyes, but I feel like it's just, I don't know. I don't do it that much anymore. And I just feel like the mauve has totally taken over. I don't know about you guys, but it, I'm just obsessed. I'm ever since Huda Beauty came out with this palette, I just find myself gravitating toward these colors every single time. I don't know. Maybe I have no idea why. And to clean up the eye, I'm going to take a little flat shader brush like this and go in with the shade Bare, the brightest one over here. And the reason why I like it so much is because it's more so my skin shade and it doesn't look like I'm just putting white. Because sometimes you go in with the too bright of a color and it just looks so obvious and this one just looks super natural and I just, I don't know, I love it. Love it. Just cleans everything up really, really nice. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha from Jack and Hill's palette. And I'm just going to take it on a small, flat angle brush. Now I've seen the fox eye trend on YouTube and everywhere on Instagram, but I just feel like on my eyes, putting darkness toward the inner corner of my eye kind of just makes my eye look really small. And I really want a really wide open eye. So you basically just put the eyeliner from where your iris ends toward the end of the eye and just kind of a tiny bit of a wing in the corner like this so you 
from here. Just gonna wing it out a little bit. So I really want this to look as soft as possible. And I like to use the shade Berry to also clean up right here. So I just put on my mascara and then added some lashes and you can tell what a difference that made. I feel like lashes are honestly the most important part of any glow up. They change the look so much. So yeah. And now I'm just gonna put some eyeshadow on my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna use a tiny little pointed brush like this for that. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Raw from Huda Beauty's palette right here. Just a tiny bit because it's darker and I don't want it to be too brown. And I'm just kind of going under my lashes. I'm also going to take a little bit of the shade Pukey. I'm going to take a tiniest bit in the corner like that. Just to make sure it's not all pink because I don't want it to be like I have a pink eye, you know. So now for one of my favorite parts, bronzing, and I'm taking a huge powder brush like this. I know it might sound a little weird, a powder brush for bronzing, but I honestly feel like it just gives a very blown out and really blended look. And I'm just gonna take the shade Hula, my benefit, and I'm just gonna start warming up my face. And I feel like this part of the process really just brings life back into you and you feel like you're awake and you've been in the sun even though you probably haven't because you've been just at home all day like I have and you know you don't really get to see the sun except through the window so yeah so what kind of things are you guys doing when you guys stay at home do you have any recommendations maybe a movie or something because I've been watching Vikings with my boyfriend and I mean it's good but I just have really high expectations for that show I guess so if you guys have any shows to recommend, just comment them down below and I'm probably gonna watch them, just say. So next I'm gonna contour and I'm just gonna use a blush brush. I know this might sound a little weird, but it does uh, kind of just pick up a little bit of the product and doesn't make the contour seem so harsh. And I'm gonna use Shadow Play from the Shade and Light palette. And I'm going to go, you know, toward the ear and then I'm just gonna make this face and then go all the way up to here. Like that, but just gently, I don't want it to be too harsh because it's a spring glow. We're gonna be all ladylike and feminine, so I don't want to, you know, cut my cheekbones with this. And my temples, like that. And then, most important part for me, creating a jawline. So we're just gonna go ahead. You see the difference between this face, this side of the face and this one? And now because I added the dark, I have to add the light back in. So I'm just gonna use the shade Lyric and go under my eyes like that. And to go under my cheekbone, I'm just gonna use this angled Kabuki brush. I'm actually just gonna use Studio Fix from MAC in this shade C2. And I'm just gonna put that on the little brush because it's more pigmented and it really cleans up easier so watch wow that just really does everything doesn't it i'm just gonna lightly contour my nose and i usually like to use powder just because i have oily skin and if i go in with any creams it just kind of melts away and looks really ugly and i really don't want that so also using powders does make the contour of the nose look very soft and it doesn't look like it's obvious you know, whenever you go in with a cream, it's gonna be obvious you contoured your nose. And like, I don't want that. I just want people to think I naturally have a nice nose when I don't, you know? For blush, I'm just using a fat kabuki brush like this because I'm gonna use the shade Coralista from Benefits palette. And that's not that pigmented, so I wanna really pick up as much product as I can. And I'm just using the orangey shade toward the center and then I'm gonna take Gold Rush which is more of a pinky mauve tone and I'm gonna add it toward the outer corner like the outer edge so orange over here and then pinky over here and the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like usually when you add a orangey shade like Coralista to the center it really brings life back to you and then if you want to add pink just add it but more toward the end and it won't look that fake that you know that blush look that you can obviously tell you have blush on i want it to come like it's 
from within and it's just spring and you're glowing and everything's amazing so that's why I'm doing that. Next up is highlight and I'm using the shade Cookie from the same palette and I'm just gonna use it as my base because it's very very bright and now to really get this glow going I'm gonna take a setting spray and then spray the end of my beauty blender like that and what this does is really prepares your skin I guess for the glow that's about to happen so you just wet your cheeks and I'm gonna go in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It's the most amazing highlighter ever. I mean, look at the shade, it's just gorgeous. And wait till you see it. So I'm gonna use a fan brush like this and then just dig in. And I'm also gonna take some over here because we have gold on the center of our eyes and I really want the glow to kind of connect with the eyes. In here. And I know I am going a little ham with this, but I mean, this is a spring glow and what better way to glow than highlighter, you know? You might think, whoa, you know, that's a lot, but don't worry, don't worry. I know even though people outside might be scared to see me with this much highlighter on, we're just gonna take a little bit more of this setting spray and go like this. And then with this, we're just gonna, you know, pounce it right on the apples of the cheeks because if it's too much highlighter there, it does look a little shiny and weird. And I don't want that, so. Now for lips, I'm just gonna stick to the whole mauve theme that I have going, and I'm gonna use the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige right here. And I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. And now I'm just gonna take the Essence Vibrant Shock Lip Paint in the shade 01 Voyeur. And it's a very nudie shade but I feel like it's perfect for the spring. And the color is very mauve which I like. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Say bye, honey. Bye! Why can't I talk? Why can't I talk properly?